What's good? What's good? We back. It's the Boxing Clan. Good morning. It's your boy CJ Goodfella. One time for the one time. You know what it is. Y'all know what the business is. We grinding. And, uh, you know, uh, Dan Rayfield mentioned uh, in his live chat yesterday, you know, a legendary boxer put me on game and said that Fox wanted to exclusively own and retain the rights to all everything PBC, all their fights, and uh, I guess they fighters. But um, the issue is that their pockets aren't deep as what Showtime is willing to dish out. And um, and, and I'm going to tell you the issue with Showtime, all right? All right. The issue with Showtime is obviously they don't have enough fight dates. They don't have an extended platform. And another and, uh, continued issue is they're not willing to put these PBC fights on CBS, which is the same company as a parent company, you know. Um, so they don't have an outlet, you know, to get more fight dates, you know, and also Showtime is kind of suppressing premier boxing champions. Okay. And what I mean by that is that Showtime subscriber base is so limited that fights that would well reach over a million, million, five, two million. On other networks like HBO and potentially if they were to exclusively to work with ESPN again or Fox or, of course, NBC, ABC, and they got fights on those network platforms would blow the numbers off of Showtime because Showtime is not the biggest, you know, premium cable channel. That's HBO. And they don't have a big subscriber base, no matter how good they, they stuff is with the shy and a lot of billions trade, a lot of different TV shows. Showtime will always be the little brother to HBO's big brother. And that's one big problem with Premier Boxing Champions is they're not getting the exposure on Showtime. Not only just the fight dates, the exposures, but Showtime is dishing out the money to compensate for that lack of exposure. See, Showtime for a long time was the fights that HBO didn't want, the pay-per-views or the fights that show, HBO wouldn't shelf the money out for. You know, And what Fox would come into play is even though they're not willing to pay more money, which is going to be the end all be all, they have FS1, Fox, you know, different platforms and different outlets to put put they, the fights on. Obviously, they already got a deal with Fox putting some fights on uh, FS1, some Fox on Fox. But, you know, by them wanting to buy the whole PBC brand or the rights to it, these the numbers that PBC would do on Fox would basically be the same if they really committed to PBC Premier Boxing Champions like that, like Fox really, like they said, they want to commit to them. The the, the exposure that these fighters would get will be will be monument monumental. I mean, that's how boxing became popular, fighting on regular TV, not just Saturdays, Tuesday night fights. I heard they had Thursday night fights. So fans that don't have thirteen, fourteen dollars to pay, or fans that don't have the money or casuals or people who don't have the money to pay Showtime or play cable, it's free to turn on Fox and, and watch boxing and see these fights. And, you know, that's what you want. You want that outlet. You want regular, on a regular basis, you want boxing on regular network TV. And you want premier boxing champion fights. You know, I was looking through that live chat. I don't really do the Dan Rayfield live chat. I mean, that's a bunch of casuals. And somebody said, which is worse, HBO changing their music or what Premier Boxing Champions is offering? What's a bigger disappointment? I said, how is PBC a disappointment? You can't say, I mean, it's like I said, at the end of the day, it's a complexion for the selection thing. We know it is. Because there's no way anybody can look you straight in your face. And that's why I hate boxing fans the most. A lot of them. There's no way you can look anybody in their face and say that Premier Boxing Champions is, is not a success. It's the best thing in boxing right now. Look what HB, look what ESPN is giving you this month. <laughs> uh, Brian Jennings card and Pedraza and Ray Beltran. Who gives a hell about that? It's it's meaningless. It's not going to produce the best heavyweight. It's not going to produce the best lightweight. It's not. Not great fights. Not meaningful fights. Nothing meaningful. Who will get slaughtered versus Lomachenko? Brian Jennings, he's going nowhere fast. Actual fact. You know? HBO gave you Maguia and uh, Liam Smith good fight, solid fight card. You know, they gave Cove Lab Alvarez excellent fight card, but it's too far in between. PBC got, gave you two of the best the fight of the year candidates. Ortiz Wilder, Laura Hurd, 
another one, Stevenson Jack. You know, Gary Russell, Jojo Diaz. I mean, Earl Spencer Peterson was a solid fight. Did very, very good numbers. I mean, it's probably fights that I'm forgetting, you know, that PBC have given you. Great fights all year round. Broner Vargas, Tank Clayard, Charlo Hugo Centennial Jr., all one card. They give you the best cards top to bottom. ESPN gives you shitty cards, period. And, you know, it's just it's just a hatred factor, you know what I'm saying? It's just a hatred factor that a black man is dominating the sport of boxing. But those same people that have criticism for premier boxing champions are the same people that tune in and watch it all day. The same people that want to talk about, oh, PBC isn't this, the PBC isn't that, I hate PBC. Tell me somebody that give you better fights. I don't hear this backlash when ESPN puts on, you know, top rank puts on shitty card to shitty card. I didn't hear this criticism when you had to go sign up for the ESPN Plus app and when Crawford Horn came on, you couldn't find out where it was at. I don't hear the, I don't hear these, these this criticism. I don't hear that Lomachenko Linares is the best fight they gave you all year, and Isaac Dogbo and Jesse Macedonia was the best card they gave you all year. Which which wouldn't even be a top five card in Showtime right now. But you don't hear that. But everybody want to tune in and watch it. People that say like still little Stevie Kim said, I'll never go to a PBC card again. They had PBC cards because it's plain and simple. The best boxing out. Is it? Could it be a lot better? Exactly. Yeah, it could be. But it's a it's a it's a lot better than the competition. It's nobody close giving you better fights than the PBC. The zone won't be close. Top rank won't be close. Um, um, Golden Boy, they on Facebook. They not even in the game. HBO can't give you better boxing. Only way you're going to find better boxing is on ESPN Classic or a classical boxing, uh, 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 you know, website or channel or whatever, if that exists. But Fox isn't willing, back to the topic of discussion, Fox isn't willing to dish out the cash that Showtime is. That's the issue. Fox pockets are deep, but apparently they're not willing to go deeper than Showtime. So that's going to be the hang-up. But they want exclusive rights to PBC in all their fights. But, you know, if they're serious, they can just compromise. They can have a, a split down. They can split, you know, with Show. Matter of fact, they can split with Showtime. Showtime doesn't have enough fights for PBC anyway. You know, I don't know how many fight days Showtime had this year. I don't believe it was 20. But let's say they have 20 major fight cards or 15 or whatever. And you can say, Fox, the money that you dishing out, you know, we'll take 10. Or we can give you 12 fight card, major fight cards. And then on FS1 or uh, on Fox, we can get give you extra 7 or 8 sub type of uh, main event fight cards. So all the way around, we can give you 19 full fight cards. And Showtime can do their 20 and 19 full fight cards. We can split it down the middle. You know? And that's what they have to do because Premier Boxing Champions needs that Fox outlet. They need that. They need a legit Fox outlet, not just a Fox fight here, a Fox fight there, a fight on FS1 every now and again. And No, they need a legit outlet where that's going to guarantee them at least 10 major uh, fight cards on regular Fox. They need that. That would be a tremendous help to to relief also off of squeezing fights into fight cards and overpaying guys. You know? You know, your, your undercards might not be as good, but it's still going to be better than the rest. And then you got an outlet to, for your fighters to get more exposure. Way more exposure on Fox and Showtime. The number's going to blow the roof off. After about six to six to 12 months, they fight on there. They, it's going to blow the roof off. You put a Jamal Char, Jamil Charlo versus Jerry Hurd on Fox and build it up the right way. It's going to blow the roof off. She'll at least give you three million, four or five million viewerships. At minimum, three to five million viewerships. And look how the popularity rise of PBC fighters. See, Showtime is killing PBC. I'm hurt to say it's suppressing it. Even though it's paying the top dollar, it's suppressing it. I say that because it doesn't have a subscriber base. Fox is an unlimited subscriber base. And just 10 or 12 major fight cards on Fox a year and interchanging the fighters or bringing the same fighters back or however you want to do it, Fighters' popularity is going to rise amongst casual fans. And you're going to have casual fans that say, dang, where did Jamil fight? Oh, he's fighting on Showtime. Let me go pay this $12 or $13, dollars for Showtime. And you're going to drive more fans to Showtime to, 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 from Fox, you know? 
So Fox can help Showtime, and Showtime can kind of help Fox as well, too. So, you know, it, it, I'd rather be CBS and CBS and Showtime is the same company, but that's the problem with Showtime. They're not willing to put fights on CBS, maybe because Adrian Broner was belligerent and said they didn't want him back on, on regular network TV or whatever it may be. They're not willing to commit the money to boxing like Fox is. So this wanted to be a compromise, but it's no way, shape, or fashion that PBC is going to pick up dessert Showtime and go over to Fox for less than market value or less what they get on Showtime. So it's going to have to be a compromise, but PBC needs that extra outlet. It's the Boston Clinic and more. Shout out to the LDBC. One time for the one time. Don't forget uh, social media links into the description. Also, our new podcast, Raw and Uncut. That link is in the description as well. And the S1210 College Sports, most wonderful all your college football and basketball needs. All that's in the description. Check out the podcast, 11 episodes. Hopefully, we can record some more today. Um, but much blessings to all the brothers out there. If you want to donate, the PayPal link is in the description. We're going to go live a little bit later as well. Um, but we grinding, man. We working. And uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying the content that we're pushing out here. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button right next to it. Won't miss another video or live stream. At least that's the way it's supposed to work. Share these videos on social media. Shout out to Boxer Stream TV. Retweeting all the videos and everybody else that's doing it. Keep doing it. Keep re, uh, sharing them on Facebook and sharing them with a friend. And helping us grow and hit our goal for the end of the year. But y'all know what it is. One time for the one time. We grinding. TBC and more. Your boy.